Wi-Fi Kit is an operation and maintenance app designed to ensure the correct installation and usage of our dashcams, as well as to quickly analyze and resolve any issues. This app is now available on App Store and Google Play. You can download it directly through the app stores or by scanning the QR code on screen. Currently, Wi-Fi Kit supports English, Chinese Simplified, Spanish, and Portuguese. The app's display language aligns with your mobile device system language. If your system language isn't one of the supported languages, the default language will be English. Once installed, tap on the app icon to access the splash screen. Here, you can connect to a device by these steps. Type on connect to Wi-Fi. Now, if you are using an iPhone, you will be redirected to Sighting's Wi-Fi kit due to system restrictions. Don't worry, just make your way back and dive into the network settings. For other mobile users, you will head straight to Sighting's Wi-Fi. Find the Wi-Fi hotspot named after your device IMEI number. Keep in mind, the hotspot won't show up until the device is fully up and running. So you might need to wait a few seconds and refresh the page. Tap to connect to the hotspot using the default password, the last eight digit of your IMEI, or your set password if you have changed it. Once you see a successful connection, tap back to return to Wi-Fi Kit. The app's going to attempt to connect to the device. So just hang tight and wait. If you bump into a connection error or a timeout, go back to the network settings to double check the Wi-Fi connection. Then make your way back to the app and try again. You can also tap the refresh button and try reconnecting to the hotspot if needed. After you have established a connection, the app will show you the login interface. Here, you can see the image of the connected model. It's IMEI and SIM ICC ID. Make sure it's the device you were looking for. If everything checks out, go ahead and tap any of the login option. Just a heads up, login as a guest will deny you the permission to modify device settings since it skips the command password step. That's why we suggest going with authorized login. To log in, tap authorized login and punch in the command password. If you have changed this password, just enter your new one. And there you go. If app moves on to the home interface, you have logged in successfully. Now you are all set to configure and test things out using this app. All feature updates of this app will be based on this.